Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. And have you ever considered that time itself could be transphobic? You better throw away your clocks because this next last claims that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently. Did you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality, and it basically has to do with the fact that historically, as queer and trans people, our lives have started much later and for a whole bunch of reasons ended earlier than our cishet counterparts. So as a result, our experience of time is compressed. Ooh, wowee, there's a lot to unpack there. What else didn't we know about the passage of time? I could not be more fascinated. Those milestones that we've been socialised to use to mark the passage of time, so things like marriage or having a children or, you know, working, retiring, inheritance, things like that, haven't been accessible to us. And that linear timeline has a name heterochronology. There you go, you learn something new every day. Didn't know queer folk were prevented from working and retiring. Now to Lefty Losing It headquarters, MSNBC, which makes the crazy folk at CNN look calm and rational. Here's Adrian Elrod claiming that it's Trump foreign policy that folks need to fear, not the unholy mess Biden has made over the past three and a half years. And during these challenging times on the foreign policy front, on the global front, can you imagine having Donald Trump back in the White House trying to manage all of this? I mean, President Biden is a seasoned foreign policy pro. He served, of course, as the chair on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for a long time. He has these relationships with world leaders that go very, very deep. So we're going to be reinforcing the fact that that's an important attribute that the president mm -hmm. has. Yes, Adrian. I'm sure the American people are just terrified of Trump returning them to peace and prosperity, to four years of no new wars, of historic peace deals being struck between Israel and Muslim-majority nations. Somehow the Biden administration's profound weakness, emboldening the likes of China, Russia, Iran and North Korea, isn't making us safer. We're all shocked. Uh, now back to Australia and the city of Melbourne in the great state of Victoria, where the leftist government has accrued record debt while pushing a relentlessly leftist agenda and where feral far-left activists routinely block city roads for protests and they're not shy about abusing police. Listen here as they taunt the retreat, retreating officers with things like Run, you son of a slut, and you effing rats. Charming stuff. Run. Yeah, f run. Run, you son of a yeah, Run, you dog. You rats. You rats. You dogs. You rats. Dogs. I've got to say, I do feel for the police working at the coalface. Their woke overlords in police command have taken a knee to this far-left lunacy, whether it's BLM or the climate protests or these anti-Israeli mobs. Time for some French folk losing it. The EU elections have just taken place and the results were shocking for lefties with Europe swinging hard to the right and some folk took the news better than others. If you want a clue as to why so much of Europe is swinging hard to right-wing parties that want to cut immigration and abandon net zero and other neo-Marxist nonsense, then look at these scenes from Nantes where in France where Antifa mobs break the windows of a building because it's flying the French flag. <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine why folks are rejecting socialist lunacy. 
Time now to visit Lawless, California, and here are our folks achieving social justice in Los Angeles. Just kidding, they're just ransacking an AutoZone store. Stores just completely trashed in an intense, crazy situation. There was a street takeover. The store was mobbed. The AutoZone, it, it ransacking, flipping that store upside down. We also see several people walking out with several pieces of merchandise. And time now to check in on the leader of the free world. He is celebrating the made-up holiday, Juneteenth. And, of course, he has no idea what is happening. We did not manipulate that footage to make the president look utterly lost and bewildered. That's all Joe. That's all natural. And it didn't get any better when he got up to dance or try to. doing with his hands again that footage has not been in any way manipulated it's not ai it's not a deep fake that's the leader of the free world not sure who the bearded dude is uh, in the sequin dress who's dancing next to uh mr kamala kamala harris's husband but let's just watch a bit more of this i don't want to love nobody love nobody but you 